from Soldier Field. You know, when you get a matchup at running back, like the one we have here today, you can just look down on the field from the booth, and you can see that breakaway speed and power with your own eyes, and there is a difference out there. Yeah, I think you know, I was always, always heard from Bill Walsh. I read it in his book, Trust Your Eyes. So you're right. We look down the field today, and as this thing goes along, you can tell we have two stars at running back, and, man, just give them a little bit of hope, and they can make it happen. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. It's Bush in the backfield. Gets the handle here. He's got a little bit of daylight here. He's brought down. That's a nice, powerful statement as they establish the run at the beginning of this game. Jim, I, you're, you're right. I'm going to give the offense a little credit here, but, you know, somewhere, I don't know, maybe the defense is going to have to put some weights in their pockets. you got to hang in there and make the tackle. Ross is a receiver in the slot. Clutch catch. Detroit in the end zone. What a tremendous throw by the quarterback that time for the touchdown. What confidence he has in that arm. Small window. Very little room to throw that football in there. He didn't worry about it. Fired it. Got the touchdown. short of the 20. Let's mark him at the 15. They face first down. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Forte's got it on the toss. Wins there to make the stop. As we get a look at the offense, of course, Brandon Marshall is a player to watch in this one. Jim, to be nicknamed the Beast, I think that says it all. He's big and strong, 6'4", about 230 pounds. Just try to get the football in his hands. He'll make it happen. They need to get the playoff. Matt Forte. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Number 32, there for the Steven Tullick is one of the leaders of this defensive unit. Yeah, he absolutely is one of the leaders. Tells everybody what to do. And he is one tough guy inside. And you can never get enough toughness when you talk about defense in the NFL. down the Lions with a nickel look here on defense the play clock's running down unable to complete that one and that's a very quick three and out number 
They're in punting formation. And they bring it down at the 36-yard line. Of course, Jim, you and I would have called a fair catch there because you know why? We're cowards. Who'd want to take this kind of punishment when the defender's all around you? Offense lines up here. The Lions snap it at the 36. Bush is going to take the handoff now. And Bush is stopped there. Second down here. Offense lines up here. Ross is in the slot. Matthew Stafford from the shotgun. Now on the move. Into the open. Stafford's going to slide. That'll end the play. Nice awareness that time by the quarterback. Sometimes when you drop back, don't be too stubborn. Stand in that pocket and take a hit. If you have to run, take off. He gets it done that time and picks up a first down. Offense lines up here. First down at the 46 out and snatches it that's a good job by the wide receiver running the drag route across the field these are not easy throws for the quarterback but he sticks it right on him for the completion The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Stafford's lining up in the pistol. Stafford sends it to Pettigrew. In on the stop. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Makes the reception. Gains five. And here we have second down. Offense lines up here. Stafford standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. The defense gets the sack. Hard to get these hits against quarterbacks now, these blindside hits, because everybody's worried about getting hit as a quarterback, the protections, all the smart things they do, getting rid of the football fast, but they couldn't stop at that time. Big hit. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Offense lines up here. Throws the pass. Stop the play right there. This defensive coordinator, he is one aggressive dude. He keeps going after this offense, and finally he gets the interception inside uh, their own 20-yard line and stops the offense from getting any points. First down, offense readying for the snap. Offense lines up here. Out to the left. It's Marshall. Anytime you have man-to-man -man coverage like we see this time, it's all about the receiver getting away from the defender. He does it, and the quarterback puts it right on him. First down here after the completion. First down, following the long play. After the long game, let's see what they do here. The handoff to Matt Forte. Gets about four yards that time. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying... We're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. Offense lines up here. Matt Forte gets it here. Tackled at the 29-yard line.
Welcome back to the action. Today, it's been all about the defenses. After that last run, it sets up third and six. The Bears break huddle and show a jumbo look. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Almost intercepted. Well, the quarterback took a big sigh of relief after that throw. That pass was close. It was nearly picked off. And sometimes you just gotta gotta make a better decision at the quarterback position. The Bears will have to punt. Ball was never cleanly caught, and it's on the ground. And at the 25, he'll be brought down. That returner, when he goes to the sideline, I promise you that special teams coach is going to rip him a new one. Hold on to the football. Lucky to get it back after that fumble. The Lions will take the snap from the 25. And that's Briggs shutting this play down for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. That second down coming up. Matthew Stafford will be under center. Keeps it here. A foot race to the end zone. The 30, the 20, the 10. In stride, and he's home for the touchdown. Touchdown line. Well, we're talking about some of the fastest humans on earth. And we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them. That's how they're able to get open and make so many catches. The Bears are ready to return the kick. to him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. The Bears bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. Forte's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Cutler is set in the pistol. First down at the 20, Matt Forte. Able to take the football out to the 28-yard line. Second down coming up. The Bears will come out in the pistol. It's Forte in the backfield. It's Bennett. And he is brought down at the 39. The key to being a really good route runner and running these drag routes across the field is show some courage. Don't worry about what's in front of you. The quarterback will take care of that. First and 10. Here's the handoff and they'll run it. Trying to plow ahead. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. The Bears are at the line of scrimmage with their backfield loaded up. Another handoff right back to them. Tackle made by Levy that time. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. This is third down. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. The Bears have it at the 44. The defense gets a sack. 
Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down, and that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. All set to punt here. Ross is going to take this one from the 20. Brought down after a gain of six. The Lions offense ready now to see what it can do. Stafford's setting up now in the pistol. First down at the 26. Off the right side, Bush. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. Second and four following the run. Split backfield here. Stafford's got it in the gun. Catch made. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. On the way, third down. They're setting up screen. Fights through that hit. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Don't always have to throw the football pass to yard markers. That's another thing I hate to hear. This time, the offense throws it behind the yard markers on the screen pass. Good execution. They pick up a first down. The Lions will take the snap from the 45. Nowhere to go as this will be a loss of three. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. They're going to the hurry-up offense, and they're back to the line quickly. Matthew Stafford. Looking long. Incomplete. Almost going in the other direction. It's a tough situation for the offense. Third and long coming up. But it's a good situation also. You're leading the football game. So there's no reason to take a chance and turn this football over. Third and 13. On the money. Nice tackle. The Lions know they were in a terrible situation like that. The first two plays were not very good, so it was third and long. But all you need is one really good one, and they got it that time. Third and long, and they pick up the first down. Nice job. And that's Jennings in on the stop. Good job by the offense. Another first down. The defense absolutely is getting tired. And when you get tired, you make mistakes. Running to his right. Fumble. And the recovery is made by the defense great job by the defense forcing and recovering the fumble you said the appropriate word there forcing the hit was so solid and so good the offensive player had no he had no choice he had to give up the football Cutler's gonna be in the pistol here first and ten looking across the middle the Bears now move the chains the Bears signal for the timeout and that's the first one they've used. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Cutler's lining up in the pistol. Looking to the right side and throwing. Complete to Jeffrey. And at the 37, he'll be brought down. The Bears will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. First down here. Gun, gun, gun. Forte's lined up as the single back. Throws to the right. Marshall's got it. First down. A timeout charge to the offensive unit.
They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center. Staying with the passing game on first down. Intercepted! And he's brought to the ground. Tullock's able to show off those great hands and picking off that pass from the linebacker position. What a job and what a pair of hands. They come to the line, and it's first down. Dropping back three. Long ball to Calvin Johnson, and it's incomplete. Well, even though they didn't get to completion, I like the fact that they tried to throw the football deep down the field, keep that defense off balance. Second down after the incompletion. This will be the last play before halftime. Second and ten. Going for the home run. And they can't connect. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. The Lions call a timeout. They're first. The Detroit, 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 Detroit. Detroit. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Split backfield here. Stafford in shotgun formation. Thought about it. Pump fake. Matthew Stafford looking long, and it falls incomplete. So that's going to do it for the first half. Lions are up in this one. We're back now at Venerable Soldier Field, the beginning of the third quarter. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. First down here. And now here's the first snap of the second half. He's tackled right at the 24. I will say this for the offensive coordinator. He is persistent. They're not running the football very well today. And that time he tries to run game again. Gets a couple yards, but not much. This will be second down. the handoff to Matt Forte and that game's won. You got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run even though it was a short game it served a purpose. Third down now. It's Forte in the backfield. Makes the reception. The tackle was made. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. First down here after the completion. Offense lines up here. First down and ten. Tosses the football. Got a big lane. Good job on the ground there by Matt Forte. Forte is going to be tired after this run. That is a good long run. The offensive line was terrific, and he does a good job finding a hole and picking up those yards.
New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Handoff, taking it right up the middle. Carries taken down at the 49. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. And now they'll try over again on second down. Wide receivers are bunched up. Cutler steps back into the gun. Makes the catch in open space. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. And gains about one. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back, they need to make a big play here. It's now second down. They've come out in the dime package. They hand it off to him again. And this won't even get back to the line. They'll end up losing one. Jim, I love these situations. Third and goal, what are they going to call? They're going to run the football. They're going to go with the pass. And if it is a pass, I would look for something quick. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Third and goal from the six. Matt Forte gets it here. They are all over him behind the line of scrimmage. And a loss of one. Chip shot here. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. That was a nice long drive by the offense that time. And it stalls out. But good job by the kicker coming in and putting three points on the board. The same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. The Lions come out for the next possession. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. Now first and 10. They give it to him on the counter. Good work by the defense. This will be a loss of three. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. And the give to Reggie Bush. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. It's third down coming up. Stafford has everybody split out wide for this snap. Out of the shotgun. He'll throw it over the middle. Could have been intercepted. Well, the offense didn't pick up the first down that time. They're pretty happy the way everything turned out because that pass could have been intercepted. And you give an interception up on third down, and that is bad. Mariani with a chance to return this one. They bring him to the turf. The Bears ready now to start their next series. They'll take it here from the 39. First and 10, Matt Forte. Base, and this will be a loss of one on the play. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second down now. Cutler is set in the pistol. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. Cutler hits Brandon Marshall with that pass. 
Offense still looking for a first after that completion on second down. Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. It's Bennett just when they needed it at last to hit on a third down conversion. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. First down at the 42. Complete to Jeffrey. Brought down at the 20. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. They hurry to the line of scrimmage. Throws the pass. It's Marshall. Marshall's brought down, but has the first. Cutler's job is to sell that play fake, and boy, did he do it that time. It fooled the defense, and they get the completion. Offense lines up here. First and goal. Forte's handed the football. In the end, it picks up only a yard. Well, that time that run play in the red zone, it did not fool the defense. The offense gets overpowered. They get a very little gain that time on the run. Play number six coming up on this drive. Offense lines up here. Second and goal from the seven. The handoff to Matt Forte. Wins there to take it down. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. Stepping up to the line at the six-yard line. Third and goal at the six. Again, the lean on him. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. Oh, what a good job there by the offense. Third and goal. And what do they do? They run the football against the defense. And nice job getting the touchdown. You talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. And that return ends rather quietly short of the 20. Let's mark him at the 16. The Lions come onto the field now for this next series. Now as the clock is winding down, the offense would like to just run it out to the ground. What a run by Bush. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. No need to huddle. Hurry up offense. Three-step drop. It's out of the pocket. Away from the ball, there's a flag down on the field. The ball is out. This one's going back the other way. Tackles made. The penalty is declined. That last play will hold up. Got to protect the football on the offensive side when you don't protect it the way. The These defensive players can run. You're going to get in trouble, and that time it results in a fumble. The Bears break huddle and start their drive this time from the 34. This is a time where the quarterback has to manage the clock, has to be very careful. Trailing, needing points to get back into this one. Tullock's there to make the tackle. 
I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Second down, late in the fourth quarter. This game is closing in on a finish, and the defense can make one play and basically end the game. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing. But you pick up a first down, oh, my gosh, that opens up many more possibilities what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. Jay Cutler from the shotgun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Every play is huge now. Second down on the way. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center. Second down and 10. They'll run it here. Hansa puts a stop to that play. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running them. Coming up, third down. A huge moment. Third down and seven. Looking across the middle, and he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Jim, this is a situation where I think the odds are on your side, and you go for it. That's what I think. Here it is, fourth, fourth quarter. You're down. You're near midfield. Fourth and short. I think you've got a very good chance of getting this. I would go for it, but we'll see what the coach decides. Offense lines up here. The Bears have it at the 44. The give out of the eye. Stephen Tullett in on the play. The Bears just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down by a few points in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. The Bears come to the line, fourth quarter, with two timeouts remaining. First down, pressure on every snap now. The Bears snap it at the 41. Out of the eye, it's Forte. Keeps churning ahead. Hey, it's late in the game. You just can't pass, pass, pass every time you're losing. So good job that time by the offense. They throw the running play in there, and it gets a big game. Good call. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. First and ten. Jay Cutler with the deep ball. It's out of bounds incomplete. Number six. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. The Bears take it from the 28. The reception, easy, wide open. Big first down by the offense that time. Here in the second half, they're losing a close game. And you get that first down, it just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. Huge play coming up. Offense looking for one more play to make. Back to the air here on first down. Up in the air, and he's got the catch. Nothing too exciting here, just plowing ahead, getting closer to that goal line. Well, they're trying to find out if this defense has the courage and toughness to stand up to them. So far, they haven't. This defense, they better pick it up if they think they're going to stop this offense. Huge play coming up. Down, and he's in for the touchdown. So many people you can give credit to on a drive like this when you're down late in the game and you march down the field and score and take the lead. What a job. I'm going to give credit to the offensive line. They were terrific. They'll decline the penalty and let the play stand. Robbie Gold ready to kick it. Ross is going to test the coverage this time. Able to move past the 20, and 
and brought down at the 23. The Lions are set for their next possession. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. First down and 10. He has the grab. Breaks free. And Bush is stopped there. The Lions did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind just by a few points in the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs. And you, know, you get enough, but what does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. Matthew Stafford looking long. And it's incomplete. So that deep throw doesn't work out. And now they'll have one more snap, it appears. Yeah, and it wouldn't surprise me at this time of the game, in this situation, maybe a trick play. The old hook and lateral that we saw with the Miami Dolphins many years ago. Every team has a version of that. Second and ten. Wants to go deep. And it's going to fall incomplete. The comeback effort comes up short. Phil, before we go, how about a little chat about how much this win means? Well, you know, Jim, let's look at it this way. It was just a nice win. It, it keeps your confidence up, and it just gives you a little energy to, to go out next week and try to accomplish it again.